What's up, YouTube? I got a different little video for you guys today. Um, that is because it is on a Windows 8 tablet or a Windows RT tablet. For example, this is the Microsoft Surface. And I'm going to be going over the app called Google Voice or Google Search. And um, I'm going to mainly show you the voice search function because it's quite interesting to use, especially because it's just like the function on iOS or um, Android or the uh, iOS uh, Google Search app, which you've probably seen before. If not, go ahead and check it out. It's awesome. Even I don't use it, but um, my parents do, and it's pretty cool. Um, so I'll go ahead and show it to you now. Go ahead and unlock my Surface with my really cool um, picture of a cat. If you don't like cats, GTFO. Um, let's go ahead and do Google search right here. It is free. They have updated it to work with Surface RT tablets, which is great. And if it's not focusing on the camera or my phone, it's just that's you have to deal with that. Anyways, this is what you start off with. You open the app, you come to your Google search screen. I'll give you options at the bottom: your history, applications, and voice search. And you will have to log in with an account. Um, I, I don't remember if you have to, but I remember it told me to log in, so I did that. And you go ahead and click this icon at the top right, and it'll take you to your little screen where you can see your searches around the left. I haven't done any, um, but I have used this app in the past, so probably just because I erased the app. Uh, or I deleted it and reinstalled it. Anyways, tutorials on the left. Sorry if that's a little bit bright. It tends to be really bright. Let's go ahead and change the brightness for a second. Let's go ahead and go back. Okay, that should be a little bit better. There we go. Home, tutorial, voice search. Let's go ahead and go back to the home. Just click that little... Let's go, let's go voice search. Let's go ahead and search something. How old is Barack Obama? Barack Obama is 51 years old. It even tells you. It even talks to you. Let's go ahead and search something else. What's the weather in California? That was pretty general. <laughs> what's the, what's the weather in Fremont, California? Give it a second. There we go. And that gives you the weather. Um, I don't think it really does anything else besides um, telling you that. Unless it probably gives you sports as well. Falcons. So, uh, Falcons football. <laughs> Uh, okay. <laughs> Falcons football. Let's see if it picked that up. And it gives me their score, the which... Buccaneers are tied at 10 in the second quarter. It's great. Apparently they're playing today, which is... They were playing later today, but I guess not. Anyways, that's, um, that's basically it. That's basically voice search. This is actually not really a, um, a browser. It's just a search. So go ahead and go to the apps section. This shows you Gmail, all the little, all the Google apps that you would expect, except for Google Docs, which I suspect is in Drive since they've merged that. But once you click these, all it does is take you to a web page of this of these things. Like if I were to click, um, let's let's click something, news. I'm gonna see my mails. It'll open up a page, but it's not really a browser. And uh, something, if it does not, if something doesn't work, it'll actually ask you to take it to your default browser, which would be Internet Explorer, as there's not that many, as there really is no other browser yet. But this is quite interesting to use. You can have your Google Drive access, which is always very nice, especially you, if you use Google Drive. Even though I rarely use it, I use Dropbox. But um, yeah, hope you guys like the video. Go ahead and download it. It's free, and I hope you like it.